Okay. I lost to Frozen, then I lost to you. Yeah, Mewtwo. That's yeah, right. Yeah, I was like on a Mewtwo streak, and then <laughs> you get, you and your partner bodied me in luck and doubles at uh, the last oh, one. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you guys were like kind of both angry, and it wasn't really meshing well. And I wasn't. I was okay. He was all sorts of mad. Okay. And and I just I convinced him, or we we kind of convinced each other to make a really really bad counterpick decision, because yeah. I'm really terrible on um, what you call it, Smashville in doubles. Okay. So thank you everybody for joining us. We're gonna have Smash United Mojo up against Squander Squad Brother Rob, and Squander Squad is a local group that we have around here. They're kind of a crew, and Smash United is a legitimate like organization down in Houston. Oh, yeah. You'll know more about that than I would, won't you? Yeah, Smash United is basically we've been at it for maybe a year, maybe like nine months, but we're just trying to run the best tournaments we can. That includes sponsoring players, you know, kind of more of an organized like business format to secure venues and stuff like that. And right now, Brother Rob, I think, is Bebo, and I think that's Rob. So, Mojo on Falco, probably? I am. Yeah, on Falco. Yeah, on Falco. if you look down, actually, it looks like Brother Rob is playing Falco, and Mojo is on Captain Falcon. If you look at the information there. But on the left side, oh. you have Falco over Mojo. You and do Rob. have that. So, okay. it's probably just ports. So, we may have Ooh. some backwards stuff, but they'll get that, they'll, they'll yeah. get that fixed here pretty shortly. Okay. Rob's kind of, after that pretty short stock he had, he's, he's getting back in there. Okay. There we go. We got it fixed, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Ooh, I like that up there. That was a really good up there. I'm really impressed by Mojo in general. I don't know how good he is in Project M. I do know that I lost in doubles forever ago. We got third place to him and Dakpo teaming at Forte 2. Forte 2. When I'm talking forever ago, I mean forever that, that ago. That is a we're long time. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> two years ago, man. But yeah, Mojo's very good. He is one of the top ranked players in Melee in the state of Texas. I think he's number two right behind Wobbles. Yeah, I'm pretty point. sure Wobbles is first. But well, Wobbles is first. There's no question yeah. about that one. I think it goes back and forth between Mojo and Ark. Ark, who did not enter today, he's actually part of the support staff. I bumped into him oh, earlier. Okay. I haven't seen him play in a while, but I know that he goes through a lot of like stressors and things like that. So it, yeah. you know, time to time, he'll step out. But what we see is Mojo actually putting a lot of work in wow. over Brother Rob. Yeah, when it, when Mojo is playing melee, when he's PM with melee characters, he is he can just do whatever he wants. He knows exactly how the game works. There's minor uh, differences with like the there's no invulnerability off a wall jump, for instance. But 99.9% .9 of the game is melee in this matchup, for instance. Yeah. So he he can put a, he can run a train. There's no reason for him to pick a different character outside of a melee character on in a melee matchup. Right. I know he's got a Sonic that he plays every once in a while. I don't it's know how. It's pretty rare. Okay, gotcha. Like even even on our weekly, he'll go Sonic or Lucario sometimes, but it's nowadays if he's feeling kind of cheeky and just kind of wants to have fun, he'll go you know Falcon instead of the Spaces. Gotcha. Sometimes Marth even. One more thing to tell you more, a little bit more about Mojo. Wow, Ooh. that was the hardest <laughs> read. <laughs> Very well done by Mojo, taking game number one over Brother Rob with a three stock. What I found impressive about that is it. Th that covered everything but roll behind Mojo. In fact, it might have covered that based on hitboxes. It, it, it would have popped him directly up. It would have gotten that awkward hitbox that you okay. see every once in a while. But with Captain Falcon, I don't think that would have KO'd off the top or anything. I think right. it would have sent him up into the side just a touch. Okay. But Mojo was actually number 100 on the top 100 players. Right. Uh, I think it was last year or something like that. Yeah. I believe that he bumped up a bit in the rankings this year because I know he's still on it from what I remember. I know there was one year where he... He was, I think, an honorable mention, but purely based on the fact that he didn't go to very much. Okay, I think that might be this year. Okay, that, probably this year then. So he's, he's, he definitely has the skill and has, has the wins against some of the, you know, some of the um, other players on there. Oh yeah, he's taking games off of Mewtwo King, for instance. Back yeah. when Mewtwo King, back when that was when Mewtwo King was like very, very much a very dominant force, rather right. than the hit or miss results that we've gotten from him pretty recently. Right. So Mojo is not somebody to slouch on. He will definitely do. Oh, that was no. so much a forward air. <laughs> yeah, everyone wanted it. I, th I feel like even Mojo's probably just like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, he probably just like resigned himself to his fate and was like, okay, this is going to happen, and then it didn't. Very good coverage on that. Does not connect the sweet spot at the back here. Gets the sour spot. Not able to follow much more off of the combo. If I recall correctly from Melee, this is an awful matchup for Captain Falcon. I can, I can see him getting kind of run over in neutral. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's so bad once it, after neutral, like when Captain Falcon has the control of the game. You can get yeah. things like that knee that we just saw right there. Right. I know he's got a really good combo game on the spaces and a very good tech chase game on the spaces. Oh, yeah. So that probably comes into play very definitely in this set. You'll see um, the uh, 20GX movement. Uh, yes. Gatsu, Wizrobe, um, Gravy, I think, too? 
Yes. Where they're trying to, you know, optimize Captain Falcon as less of an S2J kind of, you know, heart and soul reads kind of playstyle into an almost chic down throw tech chase kind of thing. Yeah, I've seen that a lot, especially from Wizard lately, because if you watch him, he goes in, he gets a grab, and he will chase you around. They convert so heavily off of their throws. But what we see here in Project M right now, what we see going on, ooh, good fire spike. Literally a fire spike. <laughs> That is one of the best buffs uh, Falcon got, in my opinion. So is that one. The yeah. side B to let your opponent fall and die. That's a really powerful buff that Captain Falcon got. <laughs> Not many people know about it. True combo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's definitely gotten quite a few things to buff him in this matchup from Melee. Good back air from Mojo. Sets, um, sets Brother Rob off to the side. Manages to get to the ledge. I didn't think he was going to make it with a little bit of a flub off to the side. Yeah, but he, he still takes it. Yeah. Another, um, another thing that Captain Falcon, like quality of life improvement he got, it's, he, has, he can sweep out the ledge now with his up B, and he can grab the ledge with his side B. Yes. Those it, help him a lot. It's also, in addition to that, when he does connect with his side B, it pops him up and carries his momentum forward. Yeah. So not only does the side B actually connect and not just stop dead in his tracks, it continues and he can use it as a better recovery move. In addition, it's a spike. It's a meteor. It's a meteor. They changed it back. Okay. Because it was a spike, which was kind of silly, yeah, okay. but then they changed it back. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was one of those 3.0 things. So many 3.0 things. You okay. probably shouldn't have faded back there, Brother Rob. I think that may have been a mistake. He laughed it off, though. Good spirits from both players. Brother Rob. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no! Falco's laser also got a buff. <laughs> if you laser at the correct point, you can make your opponent air dodge, and they'll fall off, and they'll just die. That's that's very, very hard tech to perform consistently. Yes, it is. But you see Mojo. Again, we were yeah. talking about how good he is earlier. Carries on into that set. Yep. Okay, no, really. That was kind of...